Hi everybody and welcome back to Simple Smart YouTube page. Today we're going to talk about two other door valves. We talked about door valve in the past, but today we are going to talk about the CAS1 and the CS1. When we need to use these valves, it depends on the suction system that you have and it depends if you need to do an amalgam separation or not. They are very similar in the name, but very different in a practical use because the CS1 is only used for air water separation, while the CAS1 is used for the air water separation, amalgam separation and some other features that we're going to see in detail now. The CAS1 is the big brother of the, all the door valves. We analyzed already the suction valve for the speed tune and we analyzed already the selection valve that you need to separate different suction. In case you need to see again this video, you can just check up here. The CAS1 is a made in Germany valve from the well-known company Dur. The purpose of this valve is to combine different features in order to have the right suction for the right motor that you have and also the amalgam separation. What this valve do is to separate air and water in case you have a dry suction system. It separates the amalgam internally, so you have an amalgam corrector around here. Then it gives the function of the spittoon ball valve, so it joins the suction from the spittoon together with the one coming from the suction cannula. And at the same time it has included a selection valve. Only this machinery will work in a dental chair. So if you have two dental chairs with these two, you don't need to add a selection valve. It's all combined here. Regarding the different kind of suction, we have another video where we explain where and how to use the different suction system and motors. The cons about uh, this system is that you need an amalgam separator, dry suction system in uh, every dental chair. So in case you have five dental chairs, you need five of these valves in every dental unit. Of course, if you need to do the suction in every dental chair with an amalgam separation. So depends in which country you are. Like in Germany, they need to do amalgam separation in every dental chair. In Italy you can do only in one dental unit and the other four used for a different purpose. But basically the cost remain the main issue about this instrument here because if you put in every dental chair you need to consider the cost of 1000 and something to place this valve in every dental chair. The cost depends on if you are a dealer, if you are a dentist and, and so on. But let's say quite expensive while we can have an easier solution instead of using this system. In that case, we can have a humid suction system with an amalgam separator connected to the motor and not in every dental chair. But this solution is very useful when you don't have any other option. So for example, you have a dry suction motor and you want to do the amalgam separator. So you don't have any other option if not to apply the entire system in the dental chair. So that's why this valve is gold for the technician and for the dentist that has to do everything inside the unit. The little brother is the CS1. This valve does only the air water separator. So you can use this system only if you have a dry suction system and it doesn't do any other option, any other feature inside the dental chair. In case you have two or three dental unit, you need to install two or three CS1 in every dental chair. And at the same time, you need to combine the selection valve that allow to select the exact dental unit that you are using without affecting the suction on the other dental chair. We install a lot of this system on our dental chair because it's very reliable Easy to install, you can place this inside the dental chair at the chair base, but it doesn't occupy much space, so it's very useful and practical. You don't need to clean every day or every a certain amount of time. It basically runs always. It's not too expensive, comparing the big brother, so we can easily install in every dental unit and 
provide this kind of solution while you have a dry suction system. If you want to know more about the dry suction system, we have done a video about all the suction, as I said before, and you can use this video to understand better what is a dry, a wet suction or a humid suction or a venturi suction system. Both system has different installation procedure. You need to connect wires and pipes. So you, we have a hydropneumatic system to adapt and also an electric combination between boards and wires to, to make a proper installation. We are not going to talk about this in this video. So we just give the information about which are the different valves that we have in the Dur company and which are the purpose of any valves. As I said, the CS1, it doesn't have any maintenance procedure to do, while the CAS1, it has, is a bit more sophisticated. So you need to apply some checks during the year and especially the amalgam collector that has to be empty every year. It has a procedure to follow, to clean and keep clean. In any case, both system need uh, uh, to be refresh every day otherwise all the components inside get uh, dirty because of the blood and so on so the refreshing system that we apply on our dental unit allow to keep them clean always but it's a very good procedure to do every day at the end of the day a refreshing procedure of the tubing the suction tubes I hope I gave some basic information about these two valves and in case you need more information or you need to know more about this, please contact us on our website or our info at simplesmart.it mail. Thank you for watching and see you next time.